Welcome to a new episode of Just Chatting. A little business roundtable, Just Chatting. My name chatting. is Andy Galashahi. I'm 43 years old, biologically 28. And this is my co-host, Mr. Jake Savage, or Savage. Savage. <laughs> Village at home. One time, we, <laughs> hey, hey, we got to tell this story. Okay, yeah, yeah. One time, so my biz dev guy, Paul, he sets me meetings. Great guy. I consider him a friend. He sets, he sets me a meeting. And Paul, if you're watching, no offense. <laughs> yeah, and he, he's awesome. He sets a meeting and he was, when he types really fast, he, he typed in the name Village Iron. And he didn't put a space. He put Village Iron. So I'm driving and I'm like, where the f- this Village Jerome? Where is this French restaurant? I'm, I'm, I'm like, what? Where is Village Jerome? I was, I was like, I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and then I'm looking at it, and I see Village Iron sign, and I go, Oh my God, that's it! It's Village Iron, but he forgot to put the space, so it said Village Iron, but one word. So I'm like, Village Jerome. Like, what's Village Jerome? <laughs> Take me to the village at home. Where is it? So, oh my okay, god, so, that was crazy. So in one of the last in one of the past episodes, we discussed a business idea. This song is beautiful, by the way. Mm. Mm-hmm. I want to drive in Malibu. <laughs> Here he up. goes. Here he goes. On my way to a meeting. I want to be sipping a pina colada, sitting on my ass cheeks, doing nothing. Nah, I want to be driving in Malibu in a Ferrari once I've made it. I want to be on the phone closing deals. Hello, hello. What up? What up? Oh, all right, hey. all right, all right. Hey, okay. Hey, whoa, whoa. Okay, sh- sh- in the past episode, in the past episode, we were talking about how hard it is to get in touch. It was a just chatting episode. We were talking about how hard it is to get in touch with Facebook. with with Facebook with yeah. commu- with uh community. Uh, what is it called? We were talking about customer service. Customer service. We were talking about how hard it is to get in touch with customer service on Facebook. It's impossible. And so we, I came up with the idea. Yeah, where so I, was I, like, I have a couple connections that have direct connections inside Facebook. And we were like, hmm, what if we started a business that was private, subscription only, where someone needed help on Facebook by calling a phone number, and then we would work our connections to Facebook and we charge a subscription fee literally like reading our minds two days ago yeah andy sends me uh i think it was a tweet from zuckerberg, from zuckerberg. yeah where he actually let's pull it up like you used each text it to me so i'm i should have pulled it up before so yeah he basically it's a customer service line that allows you to call a phone number to get customer support which is was unheard of you have to deal with like sending a message in waiting for someone to respond maybe it's a chat bot maybe it's not you don't know who you're talking to yeah a lot of people like to speak with someone over the phone we saw a need for that because running an agency every day we have clients that are like hey i need help with this i need help with that and it gets it's cumbersome to send all these requests so so, so yeah. yeah so he's essentially mark zuckerberg is essentially copying what twitter did twitter you pay to be verified <clears throat> and he's creating this subscription service that lets you verify your account with a government ID, get a blue badge, get um, extra impersonation protection against accounts claiming to be you, and then also get direct access to customer support. And that's exactly what we were talking about. And it's genius. I, I honestly think... Mm, no, I take that back. They're one of their main sources of, of revenue is from ads. That's yeah, that's the main. That's the only. Ad. Yeah. Well, now it's this. Yeah. Wow. This is going to be huge. Insane. Insane so, opportunity because you're dealing with high volume people who need customer service. They're going to be paying this fee like nothing, like crazy. Met, that's yeah. a whole new revenue stream. Meta Verified starts at eleven ninety nine a month on web or fourteen ninety nine a month on iOS. We'll be rolling out in Australia, New Zealand this week, and more countries soon. So he's testing out the market. And I personally think it's genius. I mean, we came up with the idea, so, you know, I think we need a little bit of, you know, what? We came up with the idea. Well, we thought of the idea because we (laughs) saw, we no, no, we saw a need in the marketplace, but that doesn't mean that other people weren't saying it or suggesting it. I think the whole Twitter thing sort of pushed the envelope. And that, see, that's the thing that makes me crazy. Why copy? Be the innovator. Do, do something different, fill the need. See, my idea is to give customers what they want, not copy competition. Yeah, so I, I, I just, I, I think it's great that he did it, but did you just do it because Twitter? So as of January, 2023, uh, Facebook has 2.9 billion uh, users and 
Um, who should... Yeah, but how many of those are bullshit? Yeah, yeah, daily active users, 2 billion. Wow. Wow. So just around 70% of the users, 75, 70% of the users are active, daily active I users. would say, and I'm I not would, giving out financial advice, but I would say because of this, I would, I personally, my own opinion is I would buy Facebook stock. Yeah. Well, so that's, that's on a different Revenue topic. I've been talking increases. to a couple of people about that. It's, it, that's on a different topic, but think about like, yeah, I don't think, I don't think. Has Facebook stock moved? No, Since not yet. Day. Not because it's still in beta. It's still in beta. Essentially, they're testing it in New Zealand and Australia, which are great, you know, testing countries. They're it's going to be huge. I'm but telling you right now, en en enough agencies software. and people who have they run business pages, especially where, let's say, for example, <clears throat> you get someone who's not too savvy. They hire an agency. They never give the credentials or whatever to the Facebook page that they created. And then they set up another one. Then that fizzles out. Then they set up another one. And then the client comes to us and says, hey, by the way, I have 16 Facebook pages. Could you help me consolidate them? That can be the a big pain in the ass. But a customer service phone number, I see it streamlined, easy, straight way to figure that out and 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 solve that problem. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's honestly genius. It's something that they've needed for a long time. Do I think everyone is going to sign up for it? No. Not at all. Do I think a billion people are? Maybe. I don't know. But, I mean, we're still talking massive numbers. So, I mean, if you do that times, I mean, how much are they probably gaining from it? Five bucks? Good. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. It's it's definitely a massive change for Facebook. I, that I think it's going to I think it's gonna blow up. Yeah, I do, I do too. I'm in the mood for tacos. Yeah, right same. I'm hungry. I'm thinking about tacos. I'm just going to keep it real because it's real business round I want tacos. T-A-C-O-S. Tacos. T-A-C-O-S. Tacos. Birria. Birria. Tacos. Tacos. Birria. Tacos. Right, just chatting. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to follow. We'll check you later. Peace.